This is the 2018 to 2019 Nova Bus LFS review. This is the 2018 to 2019 Nova Bus LFS, the twin brother of the 2015 LFS and the third generation of LFSs ordered for New York City Transit. It's not as numerically extensive as the 2015 LFS order, which came in a bulk of 414, whereas this fleet only came with 251 buses, but it is more extensive than the pilot 2011 LFS fleet, which totaled 90 buses. They are numbered from 8504 to 8754 and delivered in the blue and gold scheme. Now for the deliveries. 8504 was the very first third generation LFS smart bus released, testing out of Gun Hill Depot during the summer of 2018. This paved the way for the rest of the deliveries. 8505 to 8542 were delivered directly to Queens Village Depot, where 8504 was later transferred to. 8543 to 8572 were delivered to Kingsbridge Depot. 8573 to 8613 were delivered to Yukon Depot. 8614 to 8638 were delivered to Gun Hill Depot. 8639 to 8663 were delivered to Queens Village Depot. 8664 to 8693 were delivered to Kingsbridge Depot. 8694 to 8718 were delivered to Castleton Depot. 8719 to 8729 were delivered to Yukon Depot. Moose power! And last but not least, 8730 to 8754 were delivered to Gun Hill. The purpose of delivery for this option order was to displace the Orion 7 Next Gen hybrids from the Bronx, Queens, and Staten Island to decrease the overall average fleet mileage in the depots that had them and consolidate the fleet types there. By casting away the Next Gens, they were displaced to Manhattan which retired the 2002 to 2004 Orion 7 first gens from 6365 to 6426 and 2004 to 2005 Orion 7 second gens 6630 to 6689 from Manhattanville Depot. At Queens Village, 2004 Orion 7 first gens 6427 to 6489 were directly retired by the 2019 LFS. Additionally, some second gens from Brooklyn and Queens were also retired due to this order and shifting of 2019 to 2020 articulated buses. The way everything was done was incredibly strategic. Let's discuss the features featured on these LFSs. These LFSs are very similar to their 2015 predecessors. They're low floor series, so all the low floor series pretty much have the same specs and when riding them seem almost indifferentiable but they have more variations from the 2015s than the 2015s have from the 2011s. Each generation adds a new feature to the design. Just like the 2020 LFS HEV will add a new feature that is different from the 2019s. When they arrive, then it'll be a battle over which model is the sharpest. 8504 to 8507 being 2018 units feature the first and second gen LFS driver's window type. 8508 to 8754 have the updated 2019 high visibility window, which is one singular piece instead of two separate pieces, which provided interfering cutoffs on the low floor models before 2019. With the new window, there's a lot of empty space, but safety and improved field of vision is always priority over aesthetics. The 8573 to 8613 batch were amongst the first buses to display the new Omni One Metro New York system on the Staten Island route which displaced next gens, which also got equipped with Omni to Manhattan. This was good because at the time it made Manhattanville one of the only depots to have Omni equipped equipment. The amenities that this fleet offers are TV screens, computerized interior and exterior announcements, Hanover destination signs like the 2011 models, Wi-Fi and USB chargers, blue left oriented identity signs, and bars over the container in the front. The DNA kit is also much wider. 
The lighting is soft, bright, and futuristic. They feature the standard American plastic seating. Other than that, everything is the same as the previous LFS models. The main difference is the blue and gold color scheme. However, at night, not even that can distinguish it from the 2015s. Other than that, it still functions the same way the other LFSs do. They're practically the same model. And now that some 2015s have been equipped with Wi-Fi and TV screens and announcements, the 2019s are definitely not as unusual as they used to be. Due to having the Cummins EPA 17L9 ZF Eagle Life 6AP 1400B engine, they have a deeper growl than the 2015s. The Depot sticker placement on the left is a bit of a pet peeve, but it's okay. I call these the Blue Whales as a nickname. I do remember 8504 arriving at Gun Hill, which was pretty cool, and the 8500s being the first to arrive at Queens Village and Kingsbridge. I remember seeing a video of 8626 at Gun Hill. I saw a video of an 8730 series unit at Gun Hill, which was super intrepid, and I remember seeing 8750 on September 28th. Another 8700 two weeks before that as well. It was astounding watching the order get higher and higher. I was like, whoa, 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 where did all these LFSs come from? And how high are we taking this thing? Until I looked at the chart, saw the order ceased at 8754, and said, okay, they're done. These buses were my inspiration to continue fanning and to create Smart Quest. It started as LFS Quest, then became Smart Bus Quest or LFS Quest Part 2, then it became the Smart Quest that you guys know today. If I flipped out about the 2015s, then you know my reaction was exactly the same for these. If not, much, much better. Um, I didn't attend school in the region where the 2019s entered service at anymore. Yet regardless, upon hearing the news of their arrival on the first floor of Brooklyn Tech, I did do a dance. I did see a glimpse of the new model when walking from convent to Amsterdam sometime in April or May. However, the first official time I saw one was May 9th, 2019 on the BX-7, that being LFS 8552, leaving its terminal at 168th Street, making this my first official clip of them. I was amazed, and the world felt reset, renewed. Something new to discover had arrived. You know how long I've wanted to see this exact thing happen? Blue and gold plus my favorite model? M100 blah blah fesses? I thought it would happen with the existing 8300 so back in 2016 and I couldn't believe it was real. My head almost flew off of my body. July 2nd, I saw LFS 8667 from an M5 smooth top next gen. A BX7 LFS with the cool different window and 8692 on the BX3 and 8693 on the BX13. The Kingsbridge order must have been completed at this point or before that. The first time I set foot on this model was in the summertime, 8626, then 8690 operating as shuttles on the 1 and 2 lines. My first BX7 ride was 8672 from 168th Street all the way to 196th Street in Washington Heights which I obtained a 40 minute video of on September 9th, 2019. Afterwards, on October 4th, after filming some X and 60s bunched together, I caught my first 2019 unit on the M100, 8681 from 145th Street to 168th Street, getting a 26 minute video of that. These models predominate in the Rain Quest, aka Smart Quest number 6. If you haven't watched that video, please go check it out. I also fanned these units on October 6th, 12th, 16th, December 5th, January 23rd, June and July 23rd. One comment though, you notice how none of the LFSs, nor the LFSAs for that matter, went to MTA bus? They like to keep that place strictly Orion and New Fly. The last Novas they had were those RTSs they hung on to until 2018. Anyways, these models are perfect, as if you couldn't make the LFS any better. Nova and the MTA exceeded my expectations, and for that I give a round of applause. You guys did it, man! I'm trying to make 8672 the new 8360. 
The LFSs look super epic on the S79 select bus service and ride really well and really fast too, but at the expense of the greens and oranges in Manhattan. You can't talk about one without talking about the other in my opinion. Somehow I felt like the two fleets are connected. The paint scheme did well on the LFSs. I was surprised how well the scheme worked for them since it was an, originally an Excelsior thing until around 2018. And even with the LFSAs, that was only for select bus service purposes and it looked super boxy. It was cool how the 2018 to 2019 LFSA Arctics all arrived in select bus service and the 2018 to 2019 LFS standards all arrived in the local scheme. That was until of course 5439 and 5441 deviated from the pack and obtained the local scheme too. But imagine how weird it is seeing an LFS in the select bus service scheme. That would have been crazy. They should have gone for it though. My only gripe is how far out the rear view mirror protrudes from the bus. Good for the driver but a bit dangerous for pedestrians. As far as the Hanover signs are concerned, I like the Axioms more but these are suitable. I give these spectacular models a 100 for the 100. These blue whales are epic and they are definitely rolling computers. With that, as we sign off, we say, hope you enjoy, have a nice day, enjoy the smart quest, please subscribe, stay healthy, and stay blessed.